Today, sermon title, Propelling God's Will Through Our Life. Today, verses, Hosea chapter 7, verse 1 to 3. Let's read it together. Nais ko sana ang pagalingin ang Israel, punyin nakikita ko naman ang kabulukan ng Ephraim at masasamang gawa ng Samaria. Sila'y manilina, manganakaw, at ulisan. Hindi nila naiisi na hindi ko nakakalimutan ang lahan ng kanilang masasamang gawain. Sila ay lipos ng kasamaan at nakikita ko ang lahan na ito. Napapaniwala nila ang hari sa kanilang kasamaan at maging ang mga pinuno ay kanilang nalilang. All the nations suffer COVID-19. If COVID-19 impact anyone, he, she should get medical treatment and uh, isolate him, her self at home to prevent it spread. Disobedience to God is a sin. If humans disobey God, they will pay to think with logic and wisdom. For example, first they think they can hide their sin before God and other humans. Second, they do neither speak nor act in truth. So they tend to conceal their pain and blame others instead. In contrast to those who walk with God, they act in different ways. First, they acknowledge their limitation and seek God's help. Second, they know their weakness, so they pray to God. They are blessed people and can receive God's help in their lives. In youth members meet and marry such a peaceful partner. Their marriage life will be free from unnecessary tears, and sufferings. Amen? God wants us to know our weakness and depend on Him. I want God to enlarge the kingdom of God on us as we walk with God. How can we accompany Him and prepare His will through our life? Number one, we should remove our evil sins. God know all our sins. The sin cannot be considerable from God and humans. Hosea chapter 7, verses 1, let's read together. Nais ko sana pagalini ang Israel. Unit, nakikita ko naman ang kabulukan ng Ephraim at masasamang gawa ng Samaria. We cannot deceive God, though we, we deceive ourselves because we cannot hide anything before God. Therefore, we should be honest before God, not depart from God and the church. God is observing our actions and words. We also have the mission to enlarge the kingdom of God in this earth. Amen. God examined the search of Israel for their salvation. The leaders of Israel committed the severe sin. Abraham is the representative tribe of Israel and Samaria is the capital of Israel. Representative of the nation disobeyed God's word. They left God, so Israel became the corrupted and spiritually evil. The leaders were responsible for the corruption and Israel. The spiritual leaders of Israel are the priests. They should be the holiest and the most righteous as the role model. But they were full of liars and evil action. 
They loved the money, so they received the bribe for the entry of the refuge cities. The priest depart from God, number one, because no one rebuked them, though they committed sin, and number two, because they did not act out their message, though they taught people the word of God. If we want to have a strong faith, we should be in the church. We need the faith community that can correct our mistake and advise us to live the holy life. If you are in such a peaceful community, you will not forsake God easily. In that aspect, worships and the parallels in the church are very, very important for our health spirituality. God anointed the priest, but sadly they were corrupted. It is tough to keep their faith without the church and worship. When we disobey God's word, we tend, number one, to be comfortable, though we skip worship. Number two, to stop praying. Number three, to speak to the untruth and number four to blame the church other and God if we pass the hardship if we can continue this pattern we eventually depart from the church and God we should be careful all the time through prayer and the Bible we should acknowledge God's will we should pray for long absent members so they, they can worship God together. Also, we should do our best to worship God with our family. There are the way how to be with God and walk with Him. We are the children of God. Amen. According to this spiritual identity, we should make worship and prayer as our priority and live from the simple life. When we forsake God and the church, we cannot receive God's love and His help. As our conclusion, we need to remember that our sin will cause our shame because God knowing all our sin reveal them before Him as humans. Let's pray. Lord, help us forsake a simple life and live peaceful lives as God's children, not Satan's slave. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.